Alright, today we're going to be teaching a lesson on food chains where everything living needs energy in order to live. Now this lesson is life science for grades 4 through 5, and students will understand that all organisms need energy and matter to grow and to live, and will be able to classify organisms in the food chain based on their role. Students will know plants are the primary source of matter and energy entering most food chains. Students also know producers and consumers are related in food chains and food webs may compete with each other for resources and an ecosystem. All right now you may ask, what is a food chain? So who can tell us what a food chain is? The circle of life. Great <laughs> answer. Anyone else? I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's let's see what the correct definition for a food chain is. Ooh, oh, that's so cool. Ooh. That's cute. No, yeah, that's cute. Alright, so it looks like a food chain is a model that shows how energy is passed in the form of food from one organism to another. The arrows between the organisms show the direction of energy flow. So you can see energy coming from the sun down to the deer, rain going to the plant, the plant or plants being eaten by the deer, which is in turn eaten by the bear. <laughs> and now... We're going to learn about the three types of organisms that can be found in a food chain. Okay, I'll talk about producers. Plants are called producers, and you might be wondering why. It's because they produce their own food. They use light energy from the sun, carbon dioxide from the air, and water from the soil to produce food in the form of glucose or sugar. This is called photosynthesis, and we have a quick... The ultimate source of energy for life on Earth is the sun. Photosynthesis is the process used to capture the energy from the sun and put it to work. Cells derive energy for life by respiration, using compounds that were ultimately created by photosynthesis. Photosynthesis and cellular respiration are complementary processes. This is just going to show you the basic formula of interesting to note that they're kind of the reverse processes of each other. And now Miss Brittany will tell us about consumers. Animals are called consumers. Why? Because they cannot make their own food, so they need to consume or eat plants and or animals. There are three groups of consumers. What does each one eat? Herbivores eat plants only. Carnivores eat animals only. And omnivores eat plants and animals. <laughs> now we will have Mr. Brandon tell us about decomposers. Decomposers are fungi or bacteria that play an important role in the food chain. They break down dead material and turn them into nutrients in the soil, which plants use to grow. Now primary decomposers, meaning some of the main ones, are fungi and bacteria. And when you see fungi, a main fungi is a mushroom. Now some main bacteria can be seen here. And you see we have worms, or possibly amoeba, and other nasty little animals. <laughs> And now we're going to play a game called the Producer-Consumer-Decomposer Game. So we'll, ask, we'll show an animal or something, and we will ask you if it's a producer, consumer, or a decomposer. So is a cat a producer, consumer, or decomposer? Consumer. It's correct. Is grass a producer, consumer, and decomposer? Producer. producer. Good job. Is a cow a producer, consumer, or decomposer? Consumer. Good job. 
are mushrooms producers, consumers, or decomposers? Decomposers. Great, y'all are doing wonderful. <laughs> it's a flower, a producer, consumer, and decomposer. Producer. Is a bird a producer, a consumer, or a decomposer? Consumer. Good job. <laughs> Is a fish a producer, consumer, or decomposer? A consumer. 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 Good job. <laughs> He's eating the algae. Are worms producer, consumer, or decomposers? Decomposers. decomposers. Great job. So y'all didn't miss any. So should we keep playing that game or move on to another? Let's move, do another Move game. on to another. Hey. <laughs> so this is called the food chain game. So we're going to have each of y'all come up here and play the food chain game. Now the instructions are that you drag the parts of the food chain to their correct place. When the chain is complete, it will come to life and you can watch the chain grow in action. So who wants to go first? Me, me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do I do? So you click on the picture and you drag it, meaning whatever's over here is being eaten by this box, which is being eaten by this box. Oh, okay. <laughs> well. The worms are going to eat the bird. Yeah, oh, yeah. the bird will go. <laughs> 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 All right, now we have a full chain, <laughs> meaning it, it goes in a full circle from what's being eaten here all the way around and being decomposed again to start over. So this one's kind of hard. <laughs> Grasshopper <laughs> being eaten by the lizard, being eaten by the bird, and uh oh, he got sick. He's being decomposed. <laughs> Alright, we have one. Y'all missed only one, so that was a great job. <laughs> Alright, so today we learned about producers, consumers, and decomposers. Great job, class.